Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these Peyote Stitch 3D earrings. I'm showing all of these step by step so I'm sure you're going to be able to make them by yourself. Consider subscribing with the bell, also liking, sharing and commenting, in this way you help me so much. A lot of work goes in this video so you might want to support me in PayPal by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now without further delay let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 Delica beads. I'm using here earring findings, liver packs. This is Nymo nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use size 12 as well. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory, but I use them if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, my friends, and what I'm picking up at my first step are three blue and one silver and I repeat this six times. Okay, pause on it frame and pick it up. Now what I want to do is to slide all of those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot and how I do this I go twice here through this loop I've made and I'm going to pull And after that, I will make just one more knot. Like this. Now guys, in my next step, I want to go through this silver and through the following blue bead. And I take just one blue bead I skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following. Okay, this is what I have. And at this step, guys, I take two, go, uh, two silver beads. I skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following. Then I take just one blue bead, I go through the following blue and then I take two silver beads, go in the next one. Take just one blue, go here in the following and take two silver beads. Go like this and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. And with this step guys I finished my row and now I want to step up in my next row okay going into this blue bead. Take a blue one, go in the next silver and here what I need is a silver one. Again, a blue one, a 
one more blue and one silver a blue a blue and a silver and continue blue blue silver until the end of this row Okay, and here I'm adding the last blue from this row okay then in my next step I'm stepping up in my next row and here guys this row is really pleasant and really easy because I will be adding only blue beads filling up the holes okay I will show you just a few steps and I'm sure you will be able to continue this by yourself because these are only blue beads everywhere. okay blue 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 and when i'm up to here to this point i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay my friends and as i added blue everywhere i'm here at my last step where i need to add my last blue and fill in this hole and then i'm stepping up in my next row here i need two silver beads go in the next one and then I fill in the next holes with blue beads it's a really easy and simple row just add two blue beads one after the other filling the holes and then two silver beads in the next step filling up this angle here then another blue another blue to fill in the gap and two silver beads and continue this guys it's so simple blue blue to silver blue blue to silver and when i'm up to here i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay my friends and here i am where i'm adding the last bead from this row now what i want to do is to make a knot and cut my thread here okay okay and i cut this tail thread now guys i'm going to repeat all of those steps and i will make one absolutely the same element and i'll be back okay my friends and i repeated all of those steps one more time and this is what i have here i still haven't cut my tail thread if you're not sure how to do this just rewind the video and repeat everything from the beginning without cutting your thread okay so now i want to connect those two elements in one but before that i have some additional steps that i need to do 
okay so i will make one more row here okay i'm going through this silver taking just one silver and go in the next and then i think you could guess what i'm doing i'm adding here blue beads so this time these are three blue beads and one silver bead here in between okay i'll show you one more time three blue beads and one silver and continue guys absolutely the same way three blue one silver three blue one silver three blue one silver and i'll meet you here okay my friends and here i am where i'm adding my last blue bead from this row going through the next silver okay now what i want to do in this step is reposition my thread and exit here from this side and how i do this i go like this and i will zigzag until i reach the inner part of my work okay i'm exiting here out of this silver bead now i need a blue one go in the next blue another blue go in the silver okay my friends and i should warn you that at this row your beads might start sticking out like this from your work okay like this but don't worry this is a wanted effect another blue one okay another blue going in the silver and as you may see they are sticking out but don't worry about it and i will show you one more time a blue one go in the blue a blue one go in the silver and i'm going to continue this guys three more times up to here and i'll be back and here i am guys at my last step where i'm adding my last blue and going through the silver okay now i have this then i will go through one of the blue beads that are sticking out okay there are only blue beads sticking out you see this is one this is the next okay okay and as you may see here i have two blue beads sticking out i hope you see them and here what i have is one blue bead sticking out so i wanna uh, connect them how i do this as i'm exiting from this blue bead that is sticking out one of the sticky outy i'm going through this blue bead the single blue bead that is sticking out okay like this then what i want to do is go in the next blue bead that is sticking out okay and when i pull those be those beads uh, get together you see they are together okay now in my next step what i want to do is go through the single silver bead that i have here 
Ok. I go through it. Then, in my next step, I want to go in the following row and I'm going through one of the two beads that I added and that is sticking out. Okay. Then here, I have just one bead that is sticking out and I want to connect it to this hole here that I have between the two other beads that are sticking out. Okay. Then I go in the next blue bead that is sticking out. In my next step, I go in the silver bead, just like this. And I'm alternating. I'm going through one and then through the other. Then I go in the following blue. Just like this. Then in the central blue here. And in the next blue. And then in this silver here. And in the following blue from the previous row, previous uh, element. Then the middle blue from this element. I hope you see. And then in the next blue that is sticking out. Then in the silver here. And I'm pulling. Then it comes one of those blue beads from one of the rows. And then the one blue from the, from the other element. And then the second one of those sticky outy blue beads from the first element. And then this silver here. And I'm going to continue these guys until the end. I think you get the idea. This blue goes between those two blue beads and the silver goes here in the gap between the blue beads. Okay. Uh, finish this and I'll be back to tell you how we continue. Okay. And this stuff row is already connected guys. Now what I want to do is go in this direction and exit at the end, at the edge of my work. Okay. How I do this, I go through all of those beads, just like this, and I'm reaching here the edge. And I go through this silver as well. Okay. Now I will do the same thing and maybe it will be more visible than the previous time. Just I'm exiting through one of those silver beads, you see, and I want to go through the bead that is sticking out the most again, the silver one, but from my other element. Okay. And when I pull, they stuck together, you see. Then in my next step, I'm going in the following blue bead like this. And then I want to go in the blue bead from the other element. Okay. You see, it's like a zipper. It closes really nicely. Then I go in the blue from this element and in the next bead that is sticking out from this element. Then again here. And in the next element. Okay. 
go in the silver and here in this silver. Zigzagging and alternating all the time. I go through this blue and I go through this blue. Then this one comes on my way then the one from the, the other element. Then this blue comes on my way. Then the silver from the other element, the first of the two silvers. Then I go through the sticky out the silver and the other silver. Okay. I will show you a little bit more of this. A blue one zigzagging through this blue a blue Okay, I think you got the idea and I will continue this until the end and I'll meet you. Okay, my friends, and here I am at my last step where I need to add my earring finding and I'm exiting through one of those silver beads that are sticking out the most. And I'm going backwards through it like this. Then I will reinforce and I will make a knot. And after I make my knot, I go through some beads in this direction and I cut this tail thread. Okay guys, and now my hexagonal 3D peyote stitch earrings with delicate beads are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. Also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make new tutorials, usually twice a week and you will be inspired often. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.